So I've decided to start a couple of vlogs for my YouTube channel and specifically one vlog for my current YouTube channel and another vlog for a new one that I want to start. And this video is all about me asking for your help because I need your help, I need your input, I need your feedback on what I should really be doing to make a successful vlog in terms of what you want to see because really it's all about you as my viewers and I want to aim to please you with some awesome content. So let's get into it. What are my ideas? Well, I have two different ideas for vlogs. The first one is one for Microgrinder Poker School, so this channel that you're watching right now. That's the idea for the first one is I'm thinking about something on the lines of calling it something like the nightly grind because I work full time and then I do all my poker stuff at night. So it could be me doing talks like this in terms of tactics and strategies, uh, doing whiteboard lectures like I did in my previous video that I posted, uh, me going and playing at the local card rooms and casinos, but in all honesty, I don't think they'll allow me to record in there, but I can do kind of like a travel vlog style, you know, showing me go there and taking breaks from the table, maybe with my iPhone bringing it out and talking about, you know, things that happened at the tables and so forth. So I think that might actually be cool. Um, one other idea I've been playing around with is doing live streams on YouTube. So I've seen that people are starting to do live streams on YouTube and I thought that might actually be a pretty cool idea. So maybe doing like a Wednesday or a Thursday night um, weekly or bi-weekly type of a live stream where I stream for 60 minutes to 90 minutes and you guys can log in and, and watch me while I play. Um, you know, all sorts of different ideas. I can just do my standard type of um, playing online and maybe set this camera up that I'm recording on over off the side over here and you guys can see me while I'm playing um, and then also you know kind of like commentating on difficult hands and stuff and interjecting throughout um, and trying to make it a bit more um, entertaining and um, a bit more artistic in the way that it's done. So yeah I mean I have lots of different ideas but really because you guys are my viewers let me know, what are you interested in seeing? What type of content are you interested in seeing? Are you interested in seeing me doing like this, like a little fireside chat where I'm talking to you, um, doing whiteboard lectures like I did in my last video, maybe doing some like day in the life of travel vlogs, going to the card rooms, the casinos and so forth, and um, you know, trying to do some filming in them or at least outside and talking about them and talking about live play, doing online play, um, doing live streaming, you know, let me know. Let me know what you're interested in. I mean, I'm thinking of making it, you know, a day in the night, the day in the life of a uh, poker grinder for the micro stakes and live low stakes and somebody that's a poker entrepreneur. So that's the first idea. So the second idea is somewhat related, but not entirely related. Um, the second idea relates to my business side of everything I've been doing with my side business in terms of micro grinder poker school and my online courses, my books, and everything else, and really talking about my journey and my successes and my failures, um, the pitfalls, the ups and the downs, what's worked, what hasn't worked, and everything. So a bit of a background on that, I've been on this journey for a little over two years, and my first month of making a profit was February of 2015. I made $10 with one course, and now we're in November of 2016, and I'm going to make well over $10,000. So I want to talk about my journey for those of you out there that are interested in getting out of the 9 to 5 grind and looking to do your own thing and trying to leverage the online, really, the online ecosystems that are out there. And I like to call them ecosystems because all these different websites are different ecosystems. And you can leverage them and you can make money off of them. So there's lots of opportunities. Um, it's a lot of work. It requires a lot of tenacity. Um, a lot of dedication, um, very little sleep. I think right now I'm video recording this like close to 11 o'clock at night um, after a full days of work. And um, yeah, I've just been kind of, you know, just go, go, go. So I want to talk about that and, and I want to give you guys my insight, my feedback, um, tactics, strategies, tools, um, what I do, um, where I place my products and services, and really what's worked, what hasn't worked, and everything else. And just kind of like, give you some guidance along the way as for what's worked for me. Now, so why do I want to start these vlogs now? Well, number one, I finally have the equipment, so I finally invested in some actually really top-notch equipment. I have studio lighting that you guys can't see behind the cameras. Um, I just invested in an $800 
a 4K camera that shoots in 4K, um, nice microphones, all sorts of nice equipment that I need to shoot and learning how to use the software. And then in terms of providing you content, I actually feel like I know what I'm doing now. So for the poker side for Microgrinder Poker School, I feel like I can provide you guys quality content. Now I've been in this game, um, meaning I've been running the business for Microgrinder Poker School and getting up and running and creating courses and all sorts of content and it just gets better and better over time. And now I feel like I can do something that's solid and it's good and it's entertaining. And then in terms of the business, I didn't, I never wanted to do any sort of a vlog or courses or any sort of a service before I knew that I could actually make a lot of money doing this because that's the one thing I hate. The one thing I hate is when people put how to get rich schemes, um, they put these courses up online or they put the videos on YouTube and they've made like 500 bucks. And they tell you, oh, you can make this much money or you can, you can blah, 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 you can become a millionaire just like this or sell 100,000 on eBay just like that when in fact they really haven't even sold that much. So I wanted to wait until I was making large sums of money. I mean, I think over $10,000 in a month for a side business is, is fairly significant for our home-based business. So yeah, you know, those are the reasons behind it. So those are my ideas for the blogs. Definitely let me know what you think. Um, what do you want to see for both of them? Are you interested in both of them? Are you interested only in the poker vlog? Or are you interested in the poker vlog and in my business vlog for my online entrepreneurship business vlog? Um, and if you're interested in one or the other or both of them, in the comment sections below, please just let me know. Let me know what do you think? Um, what are you interested? What are you not interested in? And really, that's really what there is to it. So if you are interested, um, definitely leave comments. I am going to read all of them. If you like this video, please click the like button for the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed for the Micro Grinder Poker School YouTube channel, please subscribe so you're updated on a regular basis. So uh, thanks for watching. It's been Alton with Micro Grinder Poker School, and I'll see you at the next video.